So today's video we're going to be talking about tetracycline staining. Now tetracycline is a specific antibiotic which causes staining in teeth and it's particularly important for children and pregnant patients to avoid very high doses or prolonged doses of tetracycline because of this risk of stained teeth. Tetracycline does have an antibacterial use, so it is used in certain infections, especially those which are penicillin resistant, but there is a risk in terms of uh, the development of teeth. What happens is tetracycline, when used over a long period of time or multiple short courses, the tetracycline can actually, actually cross the placental barrier uh, and the presence of tetracycline in the blood what happens is it deposits in developing enamel and dentin and it forms this tetracycline calcium orthophosphate complex now this complex causes the teeth to get discolored especially when the adult teeth erupt and they're exposed to the sun now if you look at the way that the teeth are stained i'll show you a few pictures here it kind of appears like a band over the teeth so you can see how it can be this yellow stain it can be green, grey stain or brown stain. So this is the appearance of how it looks. You can diagnose it by using an ultraviolet light. So if you shine an ultraviolet light on these teeth, they tend to kind of show up as being more yellow in appearance. I'll see if I can find a picture of this. But a key way to prevent this happening is in pregnant patients to avoid giving tetracycline. The same with uh, young patients, children, you should avoid giving them tetracycline as an antibiotic of choice. Doxycycline is another antibiotic which is um, where there's less risk of this discoloration. And in terms of treatment, uh, there could be some options including maybe composite bonding or veneering of the teeth just to mask uh, this, this appearance.